Alright guys, in this video, apart from my hair that I cut myself, um, I'm going to show you how we, how I am uh, tuning the VE table. How do I get the logs and from the logs I get the table and I see what's happening and I fix the table and vice versa. And I don't know if you've seen but um, there is an app called Real Dash and that app gives you there's a, a dyno function and that dyno gets the gear you are uh, speed and rpm and from that it gets how many how much horsepower you are pushing and uh, foot pound of torque and all that stuff so i did a few pulls and changed some stuff uh, i was able to reach 533 horsepower i believe that the thing is not crazy incorrect and if it is incorrect I don't believe that I have less than 500 um, I it's funny because I got the tune I got the dyno run and then right after a motorbike pull on my side and we did a little pull for the first time in my life I was catching up with the motorbike and I could see him on the mirror uh, his front wheel even went up a little bit so he was giving to it and he didn't pass me so this thing is a beast. Um, I change the this configuration here uh, on the trigger settings because uh, it was falling, and because of my conditioner on my speed window on my speed EFI, I needed to change to rising. Sorry for the microphone right on my face. I have no way to to no other way to do this. But uh, this here was 190, and that was my using the timing light. I saw that was 190 when this was falling. When I changed to rising, it changes the trigger wheel, so it counts either on the beginning or on the bottom. And because I changed, I lost those degrees, and those degrees were 16, 17 degrees. So from 190, it changed to 207. The car changed drastically right now, so it's running way smoother. Uh, even like stopping, it was dying before. Um, and now the car is fine, it's just idling smoother and pretty cool. So, yeah, there's another video coming about this thing here. Uh, but, let's go to the table, right? So we got the table here, I'm going to open a little bit so you can see uh, discrepancy. So, here we have a very good table steady going up. So you have all the bottom up. I'm just going to worry about this from here up. Um, and then we worry about the rest later, okay? And if you see the 3D graph, look at that. There's no reason. It, this is like a, a desert uh, picture. So, yeah, that that's, doesn't make sense. It should be more like this, like a ramp with a little bump here, uh, but not like that. So, what we can see here is we have here, for example, 127. And then it goes up. Here we have two same numbers. I don't, I don't quite like it. Same numbers again, and it's 38. And then it, here's another thing. It goes to 38, 34, 32, 31, 26, which is totally fine. Now you go back to 30, and 30, 27. So this number should never be uh, greater than this number here, right? So we know that this is wrong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this 127. I know that this is 100. Um, I'm going to change this here to... Before I change, let's let's look into those pools, right? So we are gonna, I'm going to show you that we are between 15, 17 uh, percent off. So if we click here in the graph, this is my graph and I have first gear, second gear, and then third gear. That didn't work. And if we keep going to the side, you see here is a little richer. I was supposed to have 12.2 and I have 11.8. Uh, so we, I'm on this area here. Um, now we have 10, which is 10.9. So if we get a calculator, 10.9, 12.2, right? So 10.9 divided by 12.2, uh, it's around 11%. So 89% of the value. So this is 11% off. Uh, so knowing that I know that this is 11, so 109 is 11% off. So 
if I take this 11% down, it would be around 98, which makes sense because see this here is 96, so this here would be 98. At the end of the day, uh, we're going to reach 98 with this guy. Um, so we're going to use those tools up here, which is interpolate, uh, vertical, horizontal, and this um, crossing interpolating, right? Uh, but first, we're going to keep going here. I'm going to show you this band here, right? So this band here, 10.2, we we're supposed to be 11.9, 10.2, and then even here is supposed to be 12 and it's 10.7 so 10.2 10.2 divided by 11.9 uh, so we get here 15 percent right 85 percent of the value so it's to reach 100 is 15 so I know that all of this should be 15 percent down and I also know that this is incorrect and I also know that this is good <clears throat> okay so this is our safeguard right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this guy here. I'm going to change this first one to, um, I'm going to bump up like a little more to 100. So until we reach this 129. Uh, so from 100, I'm going to say 108, uh, 112, 116, 120, 124. So here from 124 to 138, I'm gonna mark this and interpolate vertically. And it gives me 24, 26, 29, and it gives me a right a nice smooth um, uh, values going up. So sorry, I tried to make this video, I'm trying to make this video short, but it's kind of hard. So you see here, now we have um, a little ramp. It's getting smoother, but we still have a little bump here. So we have on the 80 kPa, 7,000 RPM, right? We're gonna get there. Uh, you see here 108, and I know this is 101 here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark all of this, and I'm gonna, um, first I'm going to interpolate uh, horizontally. So it's gonna get those values and it's gonna uh, get 108 and 101 and it split the difference between those cells. I don't think this difference is enough. Um, honestly, I think I need to bump up a little bit, but I'm gonna do anyway and see how it looks. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. I have two same numbers here. I don't like that. Uh, but, you know, if you are a tuner and a tuner, you see me doing this and you know, you have a better way or a suggestion, just uh, leave a little comment here. And also, check out my uh, Instagram. There is a, I'm gonna put right here. Uh, my Instagram has um, the dyno run that I did uh, from the app. So, here's the same thing. I know that these values are uh, steady going up. And I have 86, 92, 94. Uh, they seem to be all right and we also need to run carefully because it is this is adding gas so it added everywhere if you get here the value here was 117 now it's 118 so i i know i know that this here needs to be dropped around uh five to uh, ten to fifteen percent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scale and you see here um it's blue right nothing is red so i know that nothing went down so I'm going to scale and I'm going to say change those values. I'm going to take 8%. Uh, I could take 10%, but I'm going to take 8% now and see how, we look, how it is. So I'm going to say 0.92% uh, of the values. First, there's a tricky thing. Copy. Mark everything. Control C. Uh, because if you don't like the values, you cannot uh, revert. So, yeah. So now we got it. Um, the only thing is here you see it reach um, a lower value than here so I might need to do like this uh, mark those values and interpolate again uh, interpolate like this right so I get um, a nice smooth 
ramp and of course now we have this bump in here um, so you might say now oh you're just putting values there no I know that um, running through this here and I analyzed this log before start making this video so I know that the values were always like this I was always rich so if I was rich I calculate this difference between what I aim for and what I had in there and I know like you saw here 15 percent uh, which is 85 percent of the value between one and the other um, and you know taking taking those values from here this was 122 122 if you take 10 percent of 122 you take 12 uh, so 12 from 122 would be 110 right and I'm not even taking 10 percent so <clears throat> this should be pretty safe this number is going to be bumped up uh, because we are leaning out uh, but I don't think it's going to reach 12 12 10 so we're safe there this area here is kind of obscure because it seems to be all right but then you know when when you go up it's not all right it's it's too rich so we're going to get there um, <clears throat> every single run here this part here was all right it was 119 119 and you see 11 6 to 11 9 and uh, now we're gonna have a different value in there but yeah see uh, the different gears it gives me different values so here's 12 to this this is something that I need to learn more and understand like when this is happening how this is happening I know that I had a bump on gas here because I, I floored so I had a hundred percent of throttle and of course I let the throttle go so it got a little richer than it actually is um, because there's less air now and but it's still I mean it was 120 it was 12 and I was aiming for this much so I need to be careful when I run again and be sure that um, this part here <clears throat> it doesn't cause me trouble so 112 here Oh, okay. Forget about the the bump on the gas. I need to go after. So 11.6. It was 117. So in this area here, I guess 118 is ideal. So what I can do is do 118 here or uh, what was there? 106. Uh, to 117, I need to bump probably 10%. So I'm gonna bump. Oops. Um, 10% so I'm gonna do 1.1 which is a hundred and ten and this is gonna give me 117 so this is more like what I was talking about when it needs gas it actually puts a lot of gas because uh, this is right when I started getting boost and from here back um, I know that I have 95 from 86 to 92 is a big jump so I'm got, what I'm going to do is from 86 I might go to 89 then 92 <clears throat> 96 and then let's see what it does here if I interpolate um, and now if I get this 95 here and see this is not possible either if i have here 117 this got to be less than 117 um so yeah those those are the problems i encounter when uh dealing with this so for now i gotta get um so for example from 95 to here uh, it can't be like that, right? Because it's 99. So I can interpolate. It's great. It gave me values. Here, same thing. Here, same thing. Same, same, same. They all look good, uh, but we don't have enough values, so it's going to repeat. Um, and this is also good. This is not good. So um, the difference here is not very 
it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It just like I I made the best I could here, just interpolating everything. I click in here, and in there, but still like, uh, yeah, it looks it looks actually all right. But this is not good at all. I mean, you have 120, and then 18, 17, and then start going up. Uh, this should go down that way. But I don't think we're never gonna reach this area here. This two, this area here, I don't think we. Uh, if we, if you go on the logs, you can see. It's like, I don't even. Yeah, we reach like the bottom part but not quite the top. So what I need to do now is actually go for another run and the new run is gonna show me how it is. I need to go slow because I need to be sure that it's not leaning out anywhere around here first and here it cannot lean out at all. I need to be sure that this is on the tens in here or close to it. So if you go to the AFR, um, like the 11s around here but the top gotta be 10 because um, you, you don't wanna um, get high uh, too much air not enough gas on the top band because then bow bow engine and that's pretty much it guys I don't want to um, take too much more on that I keep trying to make this video shorter but it's hard to explain what you what I need to explain and having uh, uh, like half thing half said because you probably tuning and you like me you don't know you know otherwise you're not gonna watch my video um, and if you do please leave a comment because um, you know it's it's important to me I'm, I'm learning and the more I learn the more I can help people right so from this i'm gonna go for another ride not right now it's gonna to be tomorrow uh slow and be sure that there's nothing crazy around any of the bands i changed and get another log come in here and again and again and again and again so this is a process that i've done five times already because i changed spark plugs gap then i change this then i changed that and then now I changed it rising to falling. Now my timing was incorrect. Now you know, and and so on. So, uh, yeah, keep going. Do not forget that uh, you can do anything. I can do anything. So, uh, and then the other thing is, um, if I can do it, you can do it too. Don't forget to subscribe. There's much more to come. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you somehow. Do not worry about my hair. I'm gonna get a good haircut someday. But for now, that's what I have, and I'll catch you later.